So it doesn't matter which technology you are, you are uh, JavaScript based framework, JavaScript based technology, Angular or React, or you are in the, in the Java based, uh, Java based uh, technology developer or implementation, uh, depending, or, or maybe you are Python based, it doesn't matter. But in the end of the day, it's the same thing. So you have a Geo server, Geo server is communicating with spatial data set, doesn't matter it's Oracle Spatial or Port GIS. For this case, we are using in the Port GIS database. And that's I said I will show you every part of the development in later. But today I try to give you the features and functionalities what we what we try to do. And then uh, we 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 publish the uh, the geospatial data set as a geo server services, and then these services is 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 is, is integrated to the your your front end technology. Front end technology means the time leap, JSP, JSF, or free marker, or for the JavaScript based framework like uh, like Angular or React. Or other JavaScript framework, uh, Java very simple JavaScript frameworks. That's that's the same very simple. So you see the the how the the G, uh, JavaScript uh, very simple HTML page can load the very quickly and very efficiently and uh, the the Geo server services. So you see the another you know, layers. So it is the primary road of Bangladesh. You see the all the primary roads. And then it has its all the zoom in, zoom out functionalities. If I go to the the, the specific city area, you see the how detailed it is the networks and how how efficient it is the 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 loading and loading and rendering the from the from data from the database uh, from the Port GIS database via the Geo Server services. So you have a very simple, so you have switch on, switch off functionalities, all is, is working what we expected. And if you are to click it here, there is nothing data. So that means this service is not configured. Uh, this, this configure, the data is there in the, in the Port GI database, but there is no configuration or, or publishing the services. Those is very special data in the Geo server. That's why you did have, didn't have any data sets to, to set it here. So the rail data set, I mean, we see the, the rail networks in the, in, the, in the capital city of Bangladesh. You see the, the rail networks, this data is there, it's configured, it's published, the data set. And then you have some like the plot information. This is the one of the really critical informations uh, for the other application, other part of the application. Because we are talking about only the geo part applications, but it is the non-geo part. I will show you later how is the non-geo part look like. If I go back to the, if you go back to the here, uh, the let's say address registrations, you see the big form of uh, applications. You can insert the new address, floor, buildings, floor. Those who are interested with the complete application, you can go to the screencast number. I believe it's screencast number 35 or, or I don't know. It's just look like screencast number. Um, uh, screencast number I forget it maybe let's see the screencast number what is the screencast number for this one uh, and this is complete applications uh, screencast number angular uh, let's see where it is the uh, spring spring boot race cons this is the screencast number 32 sorry the screencast number 32 you got the complete application with the all geo and non geo functionalities that's I mean here the geo and non geo functionalities. The non geo means this is the your very simple uh, information to how can you plot the your uh, register your register your address information and then automatically digitize your coordinate point from the different map sources. So you see it here. Maybe there is some address, no, nothing is there. So you can go back again. Maybe yeah, some plot information. So you see the, the how the possible the the plot registration and user registration. This is the registration form, the username, password, and so on, so forth information. And it has the user role information. This is a non geo part. And then this is the plot information. You see the plot information of where you are living. And then there is a building information uh, for the complete applications. So, and then 
Uh, this is the you see the coordinate part is needs to be designed the central point of the buildings or your plots and you can go this way so you see the all the all the geo functionalities that i have it in mind that's why i'm i'm trying to talking about really this features functionality divided it like how can you start the java java based uh, web gis or web mapping programming with the deplet and open layers and the uh, in background in geo server so you can do what you like to do so this is the register plot information is already in the register into the into the in the systems even though you can track the specific uh, coordinate points you see the coordinate point is, is a plot uh, we need to customize this one to draw that directly the polygons and you, you get the pictures like this so you have like automatically close the polygon so you get track the coordinate points and copy this coordinate point into the your forms that you have it in here so i didn't finish it yet but it is coming so so it's coming so on so if i go to this example you see the address information you track the coordinates points you have the, the polygons like that like that's the polygon points that you need so uh, that's we show all to show you what's where it is located some register plots you see the some register plot is there so already registered this plot and some some calculations so all the functionalities is there so if i go to the okay this is the based on the leaflets open layers even though we can go to the the open layers it is exactly same functionalities the the all things the same so you see the register plots and buildings informations and even though you can click on click off and design digitize one of the specific uh, of the plots information see the the coordinate points you see this one and then this one and then this one and the close the polygons so i need to be designed and i will implement this this thing again because i am we are starting this implementation not yet finished but i try to share with you how can you start same time when what we did what we started already here so you track the coordinate point put this coordinate point into the u forms save these coordinate points and with the additional information in the from the uh, from the address uh, or plots buildings floor or units doesn't matter but you digitize your coordinate points and then put it into the coordinate points into the your 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 forms your your web application and it's sent to the database that's the idea for these complete applications but we are here focusing like only the geo part that's i mean how can you start how can you cover and then how can you digitize the coordinates point from the from the open layers or open street maps or or the google maps depending which type of maps you are trying to use it that's that depend on your, your application depend on your requirements that you have it so that means those who are interested that's complete application with the geo and non geo functionalities as 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 enterprise level web applications then you can follow the screencast number 32 and then those who are only the simply interested with the geo part how can you uh, present your geo spatial data set with the different font and technology then you can go only the geo part that's why i try to divide it like different screen cast with the uh, that's i said the screen cast number here the time leap and uh, spring boot the all the all the geo functionalities here so you see the all the 32 videos with the complete pictures of geo and non-geo functionalities you can got it here from from these cases so you got the idea of what i mean how it works so go back to the, our original applications so you have geo functionalities like already register address register plot register buildings register floor unit so on so forth and even though you can design it like here you can coordinate you can build it like this way and you can uh, digitize your coordinate points and then so on so forth you can digitize also the line object and line object even though you can digitize your point object just track your objects and then track your coordinates points and then so on so forth this works automatically that's why i'm saying to share with you that i said it's the enterprise level application you need to be understand the basic understanding of the javascript that i have at a, a very beginning course uh, when not the beginning it's a tutorial you can go to the very basic you see the javascript and javascript framework very basic tutorial i started 
but I didn't complete it yet, but we are going